All right, what's up? What's going on, Legends? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're obviously in Modern Warfare Zombies. We're going to be doing a regain run because I just had a disconnect. So I'm pretty much going to be showing you guys exactly what I do in order to regain after either a death or, in my case, a server disconnect or internet disconnect. So in this case, obviously now, we have nothing. I did actually come in with an added level of difficulty because I do not even have a weapon available. So we will be running around a little bit risky from the start of this just to kind of get things going and show you guys exactly how you guys can regain even with as little as no weapon. So here we go. We do have throwing knives, so we will be able to take out some of these zombies. And obviously we can always choose to punch them if we want. But essentially we do need to get ourselves enough essence or money in order to uh, be able to purchase a weapon. Now the idea here is that we are going to head over to what I think makes the most sense will be the mystery box over in this location. But we do again need to get some essence. Now do we actually have what I would believe to be the contract that we need? I do not see one yet. It's not running into any zombies. There's one over here. Is there one in the tier 3 zone? There's not one in the tier 3 zone. So there's not really one worth getting over there yet. But we will make our way over here. So it is important obviously to play safe don't have a self revive so if we go down we're going to be in trouble and we would then have to rely on other people in the lobby to hopefully come and pick us up again i am running solo if you do run in a squad regaining is simpler because you do have other people you can rely on and they can obviously rely on you but in this run we are running solo so we do have to play it safe so we are going to make our way over to the contract and in case you guys don't know what this one is it is a deliver cargo hopefully this other guy doesn't go for it before me is much closer than I am, and it's the only one on the map. Looks like that's where he's headed, so we might have to reroute and try to get a different one. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take a detour now, and I think I'm going to go ahead and grab the one that's in the Tier 2 zone. Will be a little bit more risky, but again, we are running with uh, with no weapon, so we will be able to move pretty quickly here. Should be able to grab it without taking too much damage, if any damage at all, and then we should be able to get into the vehicle, being able to deliver the cargo to the chopper. We do have our decoys equipped, which is actually kind of important if you are playing solo. So if you're somebody that is struggling to play solo, definitely recommend making sure you guys have these equipped because they are going to definitely help you out in a pinch. Okay, we got that guy. Nope. Bye. Like I said, we got to play kind of safe. Um, I think the hardest part here. Yeah, yeah, I don't know which side the, the vehicle's in, so I got to run these these guys over. Hi, I'm out. Time for me to leave. I take a left here. See like this, we need to we need to make sure we get on the bridge, we need to take this left. Yes, the chopper's gonna come in. We're gonna do our best here, guys. Do our best. Now we don't have to worry about too much besides the chopper trying to blow us up. Alright, so we've almost made it to our destination. We've dodged most of the zombies. I don't even think the choppers really hit us with any bullets. That's kind of the funny part about this contract. I honestly anticipate they will do something to buff this contract in the future. But currently, it is one of the easiest contracts of all time. Now, in this circumstance, if you guys are looking for a way to loot your stuff, if, say, for example, this wasn't going to be easy to loot, but we now have a self-revive, that's going to be useful. I definitely recommend, again, having your decoy. If you need to, go and hit a resupply. Like, in my case, I do need to hit a resupply. We do have 3k now, so we are looking pretty good there. But I do want to hit this resupply to definitely get some more decoy grenades, because they're going to help us out in a pinch. Ooh, we definitely want that on. Death perception is huge. I'm going to go ahead and grab one of the napalm bursts in case I decide to use it in this run. And we'll go ahead and resupply. We now have our three throwing knives, three decoys, and we're in good shape. And you guys notice we've pretty much just been playing it safe. The idea here is to regain, not to die again. Go ahead and take this rift. And we need to go ahead and hit up the mystery box. And once we hit up the mystery box, we can continue on our gain, regain here. So we're going to go ahead and go down here. Hopefully we get, we get pretty lucky. We could hit it multiple times if we wanted. But the idea here is to just get something that we can use. Something that's strong enough to do what we need to do in this match. Come on. Give us some luck. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? 
And it's a sniper. I'm honest to God, not going to pick that up. I'm going to go ahead and let that go back into the box. I don't, I'm going to pretend we didn't see that. That was some pretty bad luck. Usually you don't even get rares. I get legendaries or even uh, epics pretty often. Come on, give us something good. I mean, it's a 545. Probably work out. Okay, I'll try to hit it one more time. Come on, give us a good luck. Riveter. Double greens. I mean, we could still work with double greens. I don't even have enough to hit it one more time. I'd say I'd hit it one more time, but we don't even have enough. Could eliminate. Let's see. Let's go ahead. Eliminate one more zombie. I don't like our odds here. I don't like that we got a riveter. This isn't really showing off what I was hoping to. Normally when I hit this, I get like, a, like again, like a, a better weapon. We got a green. It's still going to be better than a riveter. So we'll give it a shot. Now that we have these, we're in a much better situation than we were before. Now, we do want to go ahead and pack a punch these once we can, and it is probably a good idea to at some point hit up maybe a bounty or do any sort of contract that we could in order to give ourselves a little bit more essence. Go ahead and shoot that zombie. Now, what I need to look for is going to be a encampment. Now, where is this encampment going to be? That is a great question. It doesn't look like I have any on the side of the map that I'm on. Which is kind of inconvenient for what I'm trying to show off here, but we'll go ahead and see what we can do. If I didn't hear zombies chasing me, I wouldn't even have to close my map. So let's go ahead and go this way. The one thing that kind of be tough from time to time. Okay, we do have one here. I'll take on the tier 2 zone one. I'm not scared. Alright, let's go ahead and rip these guys apart. Now, usually, when you go over to a mercenary camp, it can be something that can be a little bit rough. It looks like there was once a mercenary camp there, but we... We missed our opportunity. It looks like another team might have cleared it out. Um, we can actually go up from up here. Now, it's going to be a little bit rough because we do have the one plater only. The idea here is that we need to make our way over to this encampment. Where we're basically just going to clear it out. And then at that point, we can grab ourselves a two plater and a mercenary key card. Now, normally you guys could save up money by doing contracts, depending on whatever weapon you start out with. Maybe you have an insurance slot. Maybe you... Come in with you know some perks or a crystal or something to give yourself a little bit of an advantage but in this case we are starting with nothing i'm coming in with nothing so we're just going to do the best we can with what we got so in this case we are just making the best of it yeah we're going to clear out this mark cam don't worry because then you could just skip that port and go straight over to Hitting up contracts, saving up money, going into the tier two zone, hitting up the buy station, and you could just purchase. Or you can just purchase a three plate vest and even like a medium backpack. So you can skip that stuff. I don't know how that guy's just wailing on me. Bro, where are you at? There we go. Right, now that guy is taking some damage. Because there's a guy down below me to the right. Yep. Okay, we got him. And we're using this barrier to our advantage. If you guys end up with like a sniper rifle, which I could have picked up, it would have been really good to actually take these guys out. But I already knew that the cat AMR was one of the slowest, so I didn't want to put my eggs into that basket. Dang, the bullet velocity is not very good on this. I'm going to aim a little bit ahead. Oh, and then there is still... There's a sentry gun that I didn't shoot at at all here. Let's go ahead and shoot the sentry gun. Okay, we're not going to do any damage to it. Come on. All right. Oh, and that's that box that we need. So we're going down there. And we're going to go ahead and hit this guy. Oh, look, there's some weapons on the ground. They got an MX-9... And a Cronin Squall. And here we go. That's the two-plater. We've already got our two-plate vest. We grabbed our mercenary key card. And now we can go ahead and look for a stronghold. Now the stronghold, in, if we needed another camp, there's actually one right there. Stronghold's probably going to be closest to us on this bottom side. So we're going to need to head back toward the direction in which we came. Good news is, looks like there might be a vehicle here. 
Yep, yeah, looks like that is the case. We'll be able to grab this vehicle and we're going to head back over to the stronghold. I don't know how I didn't see this encampment, but it was right by this uh, stronghold. So we could have saved time there. That was my bad. I missed that. But honestly, it's not about speed per se. This isn't a how fast I can regain, but typically how I choose to regain. Because it's like, you know, a little bit more of a safe manner. All right, this is going to be where things get a little bit more exciting. We do have a potential of getting some more things that we need by clearing this. So we're going to go ahead and unlock this mercenary stronghold and we're gonna have to clear this guy out now we have death perception so we can see through the wall if you guys are lucky enough to come across that or have the money for it any point throughout your journey definitely recommending and these zombies now decided to come out of nowhere thank you zombie oh yep uh-huh gotta reload my weapon yep now this is the part that can be a little bit rough only however though but hey you know what riot shielder let's jump around those guys oh heck no get off me that was so much to have death perception but oh look they even gave us a gas mask it's another item that we needed now we have our gas mask. We now have a two-plater. We're taking out the zombies. We already cleared one of the set of reinforcements that came. Sometimes that can help before you fully enter in. Make sure you do clear it. Oh, we got a durable already. Awesome. Go ahead and come in here. Looks like there's no other guys in here. Somebody's blowing up some stuff. Oh, I'm going to check this. That's why we're already down here still. And we got our medium backpack. Just like that, we're already almost back to where we left off. The only thing I'm really missing here is a large... Or a three-plater, not a large three-plater. What the heck am I even talking about? And here we are. Now we're in here. We've pretty much cleared out all the main guys, so now we know what to expect. We're going to go ahead and hit this safe. Boom. Drilling the safe. Now, we aren't really knocking out a, a, uh, a contract by doing this yet, but the contract will come next. It'll be like the next thing we do. And honestly, at the point in which we are doing the contract, we almost don't necessarily need it. We have, you know, a durable gas mask. We have two weapons. We don't actually need to exfil them necessarily. It was just for the idea of coming with nothing, gaining some weapons, being able to utilize those weapons that we receive in order to uh, make it work. So. Because they're making it too easy. So I recommend just hanging out right next to the safe. Kind of aiming at the stairs or towards the door. And just hanging out. As you can see, we fought one set of guys. Looks like there might be a zombie. Yep, some zombies are coming in. No more mercs. We've now successfully cleared the stronghold. And we now have a three-plater. You guys could choose to grab the fortress key card. I don't really think you need to do that, so... You guys won't probably need to go up to the fortress and there's not much reason for you to unless you guys want a intense somewhat difficult experience which isn't the point of today's video we're just regaining you know the idea here is to come back come back in and gain everything that we lost essentially before we got eliminated now, the only thing i really don't have is a large backpack and that is because those were much more difficult to come across and unfortunately when you lose those they are more of a loss because again can kind of only really find them by looting around the map, so I could probably run around in here. There's a possibility there's one in one of these guys. Um, go ahead and take a look. I didn't loot too crazy, I don't think, right? Got everything in there. I just want to make sure. Check that guy. Um, yeah, I think we did loot for the most part most of this building. So at this point now, there are the hidden caches that we could wander around and hope to find stuff in. All right, looks like we actually found one. So here's a hidden cache. Inside this hidden cache, we did not get a large backpack, but within these, you guys would have a pretty decent chance of finding them. They are hidden all around the map, and honestly, if you guys come across one in the same run that you are regaining, you could potentially go ahead and grab a large backpack. Obviously, RNG is still a part of it. It's like people actually wandered around here, might have looted all this stuff before me, so not much purpose in you any of that. All right, we're gonna head, I think I found a map that does have some of the hidden caches, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to take a look in a few of them and see if we can't find ourselves a large backpack. Because honestly, once we have that, we've really found a lot of stuff that we need or any of the things that we could possibly need. 
everything beyond that point would be extra. Is there actually one over here? I suppose there could be one over here. I don't see it. Oh, I see it. Possibly right here. Yep. We'll go ahead and throw this guy. That's why decoys are so good. I've almost really fought, you know, next to no zombies this round. Ah, uh, no. Go ahead and keep running. There's going to be another cache, so I think somewhere around here. And um, yeah, we're kind, of, we're kind of putting ourselves in a pretty good position at this point, even though none of the, the weapons that we're actually acquiring are all that important. Go ahead and check this guy. This one did have a medium, but it honestly does have a rival nine. I'm going to grab this rival nine. We already have our medium backpack, so we're not going to go ahead and pull anything from that. And then we're going to go check over here. Should be another one. And I'm going to make my way through a couple of these. Again, just hoping to find that large backpack. I think this is definitely one of the best ways you guys could go about finding one of these or getting lucky enough to find one of these. As I think most of the times I've come across one, or the very limited amount of times that I've just naturally came across one, was probably within one of these hidden caches. Again, death perception is going to be one of your best friends because I can literally see it through a wall. It's going to be here. Got an MCW blue. Honestly, it might... Even swap that out for this one. Boom, look at that. Now we got two pretty solid weapons for this run if we wanted to. And we could then continue to do contracts. I'm going to continue looking in these caches. And then we might actually do another couple of uh, contracts if we have time. Now, by completing a couple extra contracts, you get the potential for grabbing a couple of perks, which you could use in your next one, depending on your acquisition stash or your schematic situation and what you could actually you know obviously uh craft yourself or what your cooldowns might be this one might be a little bit harder to find it says it was somewhere around here i see it that's why this thing is so good two plater so you might even get lucky and find a two plater now the good news is that we honestly had a majority of the rebound of this run done the first like 20 ish minutes so honestly you guys could go in do the same thing that I was doing, knock out the mercenary camp once you do have your weapon, go over there, play it safe, get through that, get your two-plater, and obviously you guys can go ahead and sneak over and get a three-plater. Definitely recommend completing one of the contracts before maybe even doing the camp if you guys are feeling unsure about your ability to take the camp out without going down. But well, you do have the self-revive, and then that'll put you at a really good spot. Um, are we at the spot? Oh, yep, right over here. We should see it. Yep, I see it in the tree. Dang, a couple of weapons, but not what I want. So that's probably the best path to actually regaining. And obviously, I'm not using any cheese here. This is simply if you came in, you didn't have anything, or maybe you only had a small contraband weapon, you pretty much choose the exact same path I did. You would get all the essentials that you need, regaining with a medium backpack at least. Maybe you'll even go as far as looking like I am to go for a large backpack. Although, again, they are pretty rare. It is potential. I am just wasting time looking for it. Kind of just depends on what you're trying to get out of your run, how you're trying to regain. What you kind of consider a full regain will also determine how far you want to go with it. Again, I could be completing more contracts. I could go and buy a uh, pack-a-punch, which would allow me to be able to complete some more bounties quicker. And I think that is one of the other things I could do to potentially gain a few extra perks, potentially, or even maybe a pack-a-punch rock for, another, for the next run. But all that stuff is RNG. In this one, we got double medium. So we are kind of getting a little bit of luck, just not exact luck that we need. Oh, look at that. Dead on. Boom. Nope, another two-plater. Definitely another good way to get a two-plater right there. So the only negative to that, though, is you get a two-plater in there. Then you would just use your two-plater to go to a mercenary camp to get a key card, because you would want to do that. Or you could go and purchase one if you'd like to skip that part altogether. And you get yourself a pretty easy three-plater. Oh, found it. Secret one over here. Still didn't get luck. We found another gas mask. So I have had a pretty decent luck finding a large backpack within those just randomly. However, obviously in this run, we didn't have crazy good luck in that element. However, we can say this has been pretty decent because we did actually get a pretty good regain. If you guys were, you know, somebody who maybe lost your insured slots, your first insured slot comes back pretty quick. So by the time you actually run through a full run or most of a run, more than likely you're going to go ahead and have acquired that back. If not, something I didn't do in this run, which you guys could choose to do as I chose to waste too much time looking for a large backpack in those hidden caches around the map, you guys could actually go maybe even pack a punch to level one, go and complete some of the uh, contracts like these, eliminate the bounties, 
which would allow you to guys to knock those out pretty quickly. Obviously, depending on which weapons you might get from the pack a punch, or depending on which weapons you might actually get from the mystery box, not the pack a punch. And then that way you guys could possibly pack a punch them if you need. If you guys get a legendary, maybe you wouldn't even need to do that. And then you guys would be pretty much set up. Honestly, it kind of just depends on the RNG of what weapons you get. In this case, I did choose to come in with no weapon whatsoever. Just to prove it was possible, not the thing too insane. Again, I definitely recommend the decoy grenades as they're going to help you out tremendously. But I think this run was successful. We technically did regain. I could have left this match quite a bit. Basically, you know, like 20, 30 minutes ago, and we would have had everything that we needed. Now, in our backpack, although we don't necessarily need them, I was able to get two Shatter Blasts, two Green Aether Tools, even a Napalm. We even got an extra Mortar, which we're not going to use. Came across multiple Self Revives, but we do have that equipped now. But we do have ourselves a Sentry Gun. Technically, I have two weapons equipped, so if I wanted to go on my next run, it would all automatically start with these weapons as well. But we did come out with a three-plater, which we thought was probably one of the most important. We did get a medium backpack, so at least we do have some space to hold our goods. And on top of that, we do have a durable gas mask. We would have at minimum came out with a gas mask anyway, because we are getting to exfil here. And we'll, with the exfil, obviously we do get the uh, gas mask in the back. I am going to go ahead and check this real quick before we leave, just in case someone left me some goodies. They did not. And we're going to go ahead and get in here. Again, these are the gas masks you could have picked up. Another successful run. Technically a good regain. Again, we could have done it in much less time if I wasn't messing around looking for a large backpack. Look at this guy even made it. On this case, this guy gave me a bunch of uh, money. He's rich. This guy's rich, huh? Nice. Thanks, bud. And that's that. Well, that's going to wrap things up for today's video. That's how I go ahead and regain each and every one of my runs when I lose all my stuff. Usually takes me a little bit of time, roughly like 20 minutes or so. And I'm able to then exfil going into my next run a little bit more prepared. But hopefully you guys all enjoyed. Thank you guys for all the support in today's video, all the support in the channel. I look forward to seeing y'all in the next one. Peace.